Yo, what is going on guys? It's Magic C back with a brand new video and today we're back doing another Fallout 4 modded video. After looking around for maybe an hour or so on the Bethesda.net page, I realized there's not a whole lot of mods on flamethrowers, at least there's not a whole lot of good mods on flamethrowers, until I found one, the M2 flamethrower mod. And if you history nerds like myself may recognize this, uh, it is the one they used in, I think of the World War, I think it's World War II and I think Vietnam, I'm gonna say? Vietnam, yeah, that's, that sounds about right, Vietnam. This thing is a extremely overpowered flamer. You actually have to take a flamer to actually make this. So take a flamer, beef it up times three, and that's what you get with M2. It is a behemoth of a thing. Even the little backpack on it, it is. It honestly looks really good, and I think it fits the immersion really well. There's not a whole lot you can do to customize it, as it's pretty limited because there's not really a whole lot you can do to a flamethrower like this in the first place. But it's just a really, really cool idea. I don't really like the vanilla flamethrower, flamethrower, flamer, <laughs> in Fallout 4. I think it's really just boring. I don't know. I was never really excited to it. I never actually used it. I don't think. But this actually gives me a reason to use it, as this is very fun to use, and I can greatly appreciate something like this. All right, and our next mod takes one of the few things that Fallout 76 actually did right, the lookout towers. I think it was a really cool idea that they implemented, which it kind of made sense with the whole wide Appalachia thing and all the wilderness that they had. Commonwealth, not a whole lot, but I still think it would be cool just to have a few in there. It's perfect for getting really high vantage points and uh, a very low poly 2D version of Diamond City, but that's okay because it honestly it's a really cool idea and these are scattered all across throughout the commonwealth uh it's a really cool idea and i think it's a great information i can't believe i haven't seen it before until now which brings up the question do you guys even like the watchtowers like i did i enjoyed them a lot i thought it was a really cool idea let me know in the comments down below and this next mod goes perfect with the hell jumper one which if you haven't seen it before i'll go ahead and tell you it's actually like halo armor you can think of like that uh implemented it through mods and if you can't guess where this is going, it's a Halo gun. Ah, I love this thing. This thing is really cool. It, for any of you filthy casual Halo fans like myself, this is perfect. As you're not too, too much into the game, but you still enjoy it. I wish the little counter would work on the thing, but that's a lot asking for and a lot of custom assets that I'm sure this creator did not have anywhere near enough time to implement. I understand. I think this is really, really well done. There are two different variations of it. There is that one and the semi-auto one, which you might recognize as being the little sniper rifle. Uh, yeah, like I said, for any of the filthy casual Halo fans, you might not know the name of it, but you know the looks of it, like myself. But for any of you hardcore you know, Halo fans, you know these right off the bat. Props to you. Just like always, all the mods we listed down in the description down below. Don't forget to support your local mod community, support all the creators and all of the wonderful content they give us as they work so hard just so we can mess around on some game or create some kind of video or anything like that. Next we have the Sega 12 shotgun. This is not just any shotgun. I have put so many modifications on this that come with the mods that this is now basically an assault rifle. It even sounds just like an assault rifle. Listen to this thing. This thing is nuts. Pushing 210 damage with all the mods I put on it and with a modifier that you can equip to make it 300 plus, this thing is absolutely insane and can tear through anything. All right, and for our next mod, we have the Scav Backpack, which I'm really impressed. Usually with these backpack mods, I'm not really too sure about it. It's either really, really good or it's just really eh. But I really enjoy this one. I think it's really well made and there's actual purpose for it. So when this is equipped, you do get plus 30 extra carry weight. So you're not just wasting your time by making it. And there is a bunch of customizations, or not customizations. You can change the colors. And I think there's even different straps you can put on if I believe so. And on top of all that, it just looks really nice. Look at this thing. It looks so slick. It looks like a, kind of like a traditional survival backpack that you would imagine. It just, just how it looks. It kind of gives more immersion in my opinion. And I think it's a fantastic mod. I think you should try it out. So when you think about vanilla Fallout, and just think about the weapons for a second. What do you think is one of the more disappointing guns in the whole collection? For me personally, it's the combat rifle, which when I saw this mod, I knew I had to have it. So the combat rifle by itself is pretty, pretty garbage. And so you're, when you're low level, it's fine. It'll get you through a couple fights, but it's not very doable. So when I had the chance, I saw this little mod that gives me so many different customizations to this thing. It is insane with all new butt stocks, different types of railings. It, this gun can be the sickest gun you've ever had. You can take your boring old combat rifle and turn it into a absolute 
machine of a gun. You can take your old combat rifle and turn it to this absolute unit of a gun that you will not even recognize. This thing is so beefed up, doing 90 plus damage. With a very quick fire rate, a nice little scope, and with see-through scopes, you actually get this nice little effect. This gun is a killer. I cannot recommend this mod enough. Like I said, all of the mods will be listed down in the description down below if you want to check any of these out, which I highly recommend you do. Support all these creators and their amazing content. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.